do a very different type of video that I have not done before. I'm going to read the uh, one star uh, Goodreads reviews of my top five favorite books of 2019. I have uh, seen uh, uh, similar videos uh, previously in many of the booktubers uh, account. Uh, they read uh, one star reviews of their favorite books. Uh, very recently, I watched a video uh, by Lost in a Bookcase who did a similar thing uh, with her uh, top five, uh, I think three books of 2019. And I said, uh, and I commented on her video saying that I might do a similar thing. And, and she said, please do it. I don't think I will be as funny as her, uh, but uh, in order to be natural, uh, I did not read these reviews before. So uh, I will uh, improvise uh, this time. And this will be a very different sort of ex video experience for me. I mostly plan my videos beforehand. And, and this is something that I have to do because, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not a native speaker of English. So uh, I have to think uh, previously about how I can best describe what I'm feeling. Oh, well, let's get on with the one star reviews. Uh, my fifth favorite uh, book of 2019 was uh, The Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde. I'm going to read uh, three reviews uh, for each of the books in order not to make this uh, video unnecessarily long. Uh, Twaddle. I found this irritating in the extreme. Two, hour, two hours for three good one-liners. Oscar Wilde uses a lot of one-liners. Complained about this in some of his plays, but uh, if, if there had been only three one-liners, I would have liked it very much. But uh, th th that, that so, uh, you cannot say that uh, Oscar Wilde uh, stops at three one-liners. So, uh, I think uh, you're underestimating him in that uh, sense. The second review is a, is a short one and I, <laughs> and I enjoyed this one actually. This anti-elitist play is so old, it has become elitist. Speaking of one-liners, I think this could be a very good one-liner in, uh, in an Oscar Wilde play. Uh, I think this is a fair idea because uh, this, is, this is the case for most of the classics actually. Uh, but uh, you have to think about the time period that it's written in order to enjoy the classics, I think. I actually like this uh, review a lot. And uh, here's the third review that I chose. Oscar Wilde seems to think that every human is full of witty banter. I think that's fair as well because uh, Oscar Wilde uh, is, is the in inventor of witty banters and I really like witty banters. Uh, so uh, if you do not like that uh, trope in books so uh, I don't think you will like Oscar Wilde and uh, the po my fourth favorite book of 2019 was Dr. Sleep by uh, Stephen King and uh, one good re reads user doesn't seem to agree with me uh, probably the worst book that I have read in 2019 it, and it is a pity because I really like Stephen King as an author yeah, but you don't like this book. That's okay. I have read Carrie last month and I loved it. And I also enjoyed The Shining. Yeah, I have read uh, both Carrie and The Shining. Uh, I thought Carrie was uh, a fine book. Shining was a really good book. Uh, but this is just a big no from me. Yeah, okay. You can, you can, you're, 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 you're permitted not to like this book and I'm permitted not to like Carrie as much as you do. So I'm fine, I'm fine. Wow, here is a hard one. Page 387. How will I ever finish this track? See a lot of 4 and 5 stars ratings here. Yeah, at least it's good to know that I'm not alone. Don't you people ever read? Yeah, I read. I read a lot. Just because it is Stephen King, who I am fond of. Yeah, okay. Doesn't mean you can't call it the crap it is. I hated The Dark Tower and I was very disappointed about it, but I'm not saying, don't you read, don't you ever read, why don't you call it the crap? Why are you, why are you so mean? And the last review is a short one. Nope, this book wasn't as king. A very, very pull squirrel to the shining. So disappointed. Yeah, you can, you can be disappointed in the book. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. Fine. But uh, it, it is clearly written, written by Stephen King and he, he actually has a very uh, informative uh, afterword 
and I advise you to read this. Why he wrote this book? You, you are permitted not to like this book, but please do read the afterword. We're coming to the uh, first uh, three books. I'm getting a bit nervous because uh, because I did not think that I would feel uh, so offended by uh, things like that. Don't you don't you people ever read? So let, let's continue. Let's continue. My third favorite book was Gone with the Wind. I think uh, I can guess uh, the uh, bad reviews uh, and how uh, it would con it would uh, concentrate on its racism. I agree, it's a racist book and you, you can be offended by racism. But it's a very good character development. Yeah, the first review uh, starts with this sentence. Margaret Witchell was a racist and in 1936, uh, uh, 70 years after the Civil Wars, she went for a thousand pages about how much she missed slavery. Really? I think we read uh, a different book. If you'd like to hear why slavery was terrific and black people are inferior to white and they like being slaves, here is your epic. Ooh. Well, actually, he, yeah, it has some racist themes, but... If that sounds unpleasant, we're not going to like Gone with the Wind. Yeah, yeah, I... This, this statement, I completely agree. I, I do not think uh, the theme of the book uh, was uh, how slavery was terrific. The theme of the book uh, was uh, how spoiled uh, Scarlet was in the beginning and how she became a survivor, although not being a very likable person. But I can understand being offended, so I'm not going to say much about this book. I actually, As I've said before, I actually agree with the last sentence of this review. Okay, here's the second one. Oh my god, I can't, I just can't finish this. Scarlet is positively infuriating and can, and I can't read another three, 300 pages of her bullshit. Yeah, Scarlet is a, a very frustrating character, I have to admit. Though her character has grown and she is nowhere near as bad as she was at the beginning. Yes, yes, that's what I was saying. I, I absolutely hate her. Yes, I, I, I actually hated her as well. Kudos to Margaret Mitchell for making her main character such a loathsome creature, but I'll stick to the movie. Is she more sympathetic in the movie? I think I need to watch the movie again, because I did not feel every, any sympathy towards uh, Scarlet in the movie as well. Actually, it was Red uh, who I felt more sympathetic towards uh, in the movie than the book. I think I have to watch the, the movie again. Maybe I'll do a front page screen video about uh, Gone with the Wind. I don't know. Here's the reviewer who reviews likes me. Uh, I also do not like uh, writing negative reviews. Uh, and clearly this reviewer also does not like it. I'm so sorry that I hated this book so much. Please do not feel sorry. You are permitted to hate this book. But I really do. Yeah. Scarlet is a twit. Yes. And the, and the two genuinely kind people in the book, Ashley and Melanie. Ashley is kind. Ashley was the uh, least strong and uh, most whiny character in the book. I actually liked him much, much less than Scarlet. But yeah, that's the, uh, but that's the point of uh, reading a book. Everybody likes different characters. But Melanie, wow, I, I really do love Melanie as well get shafted and the racism skin at me. If this is what the glorious old South look like, I'm glad it's gone. This is going a bit too politic. Well, a, a great ending uh, to this book would, would be and Mammy pulled so hard on Scarlet's laces and that Scarlet's organ, organs failed and she died. Elfin. <laughs> I think, well, <laughs> the, the that is a bit, uh, that, that was a bit harsh, but I think that would be a very uh, good ending as well. I, I mean, I, I can't believe I agree with this uh, review. And then you wouldn't have to keep reading the next 500 pages or so. Well, I don't agree with this one because, uh, I, as I've said before, I really enjoy Scarlet's uh, character development in the book. Uh, I think it's fantastic. Scarlet is a fascinating character. 
not boring in the least, but uh, she's not likable. I agree with this. Okay, we are coming to my uh, two favorites. So let's read uh, the one star reviews of Memories of Geisha. Okay, I'm calm, I'm calm. In 30 years, people look at this book in the same way they look at Mick Greeny's character in, at, in Breakfast at Tiffany's. Yeah. Who said Burning's books was bad? I'm saying that. I'm actually saying that Burning Books is bad. It is sometimes said that everyone has a book in them. I don't. I never thought of writing a book. In Art and Golden's case, it should have stayed with them. Yeah, you didn't like the book. Yeah, I can understand that. Okay, here's another one. When an old white man even dares to write a book about Japanese Maiko, presumes for one second to know what it's to be a female, Japanese, and a part that is of that closed society within an already closed society, and the sacrifices made by women is bound to go wrong. Yeah, many people didn't think like that. And it does go wrong. Horribly. Well, I definitely agree this book is not an all-washes book. But uh, I found, as a female, I found myself identifying with some of the scenes uh, and as a woman living in a uh, fairly traditional society, I also found myself agreeing and identifying with some of the details. Yeah, it's not an own voices book, it's not perfectly true, but it is a very good book. So I do not think uh, this review is is a fair review. Uh, here is the last one. This book is a very uh, easy read, although it is rather long. Yeah, I did not find it long. I, I really like uh, the details of the Japanese culture in the book. So uh, if you do not like detailed writing about such things, I think uh, that can be a fair assessment. I felt that the writing style should have progressed as Chio got older, but rather it continued to read like a young girl. Yeah, but that's because I think she never matured uh, in the book as she got older. She was she was uh, still in the mindset of a little girl. Anyway, I couldn't connect to her very well. Yeah, that's fair. And felt that she was almost Mary Sue-ish, even though this is supposed to be based off of a real geisha's life. I, I don't agree with this, but I don't uh, disagree with it as well. Uh, she's a bit naive, but uh, I think that was, that, that was the main point of the story. And uh, we are coming to the hardest part of this video. Uh, reading the one star reviews of Wonder, uh, which is uh, my favorite book. Okay, okay, yeah, I will be fine. Here's the first review. I was put out with this book because it handled disability in a cliche way. Everything about this book was predictable. Yeah, it's a middle grade book. Of course, the whole school had hated him in the beginning. It's a middle grade book. Of course, the whole school loved him in the end. It's a middle grade book. I would really like someone to tackle disability in a way that speaks to truth of it and doesn't wrap everything up neatly as if it were a sitcom. Have you read the same book? It's not a sitcom, I mean... I mean, I smiled a lot, but... It's a middle grade book. It's supposed to give hope to children. I mean... That's what I'm going to say again. It's a middle grade book. Here's the second one. The reason I rated this book so poorly because in the fifth grade, Mrs. Roberts reads this book to us and, and I loved it. So? Then in seventh grade, I wanted to read it again, but a few chapters in, I hated it. So I abandoned it. Why? I couldn't read another page. Why? It is a good, for, it is a good book for a younger reader. Not saying you can't like if you are not young. Well, thanks for uh, saying that. Uh, I'm, 
I'm much much older than a fifth grade uh, student so uh, I feel a bit relieved uh, but I loved it in the fifth grade and hey don't like it now yes I'm sorry for this uh, little boy uh, but I wish he had said why he didn't like it now anyway so we are coming to the last review wow this is hard predictable one dimension and unbelievably corny given the emotional loaded subject matter well it's a middle grade book i especially detested the try it usage of a kid adoring star wars in order to make him appear charming well most of the little boys uh, adore star wars i mean my brother still adores uh, star wars my nephew adores star wars the cartoonish representation of the overprotective naive parents and the fact that of all the mean-spirited juvenile 11 year old kids ended up magically maturing into understanding little adult over single night single night really i mean yeah i agree it's full of hope it's full of positive messages but uh, not one night i mean they got they got used to him uh, in uh, one year i mean one night act really i was curious about this novel because i'm a fan of fiction written from the point of view of an outsider but considering the fact this book is described as one which is ought to be read by adults as well as children i found it an insult to my intelligence well actually you're insulting my intelligence as well well yeah i think everyone has their own opinions anyway so that was the uh, one star reviews of uh, of my uh, top five favorite books of 2019 i actually enjoyed uh, doing this video much more than i thought i would I mean, uh, you could see my reactions while reading it. Verification, I have to say, uh, I actually liked uh, some of the negative reviews, uh, which gave a reason other than insulting the reader or uh, I couldn't read it. So I do not feel offended uh, when somebody doesn't like my favorite books. Uh, but as I've said before, I feel offended when somebody insults my intelligence and insults my taste of reading. Uh, so, uh, with, so with this uh, experience, uh, I will try to be extra careful when writing my uh, one or two star good read re reviews. Uh, maybe I made the same mistake, I'm not really sure. So please comment down below uh, what did you think about uh, my unprepared video and also uh, do you read the negative reviews of the books that you like but clearly I do not <laughs> so uh, I would like to know uh, what you do after finishing your book hope to see you very soon bye <laughs>